up, I call out a walk. I pray this devil died uh, and get every evil thing the Lord got to get. And listen, I know you look at us in the state we in right now. Come your child. Come your child. Come your child. I know you look at us in the state we in right now. Black people on drugs and we suffering and dying. And I know it seems like you can do whatever you want to this people. I know it seems like this, but the time for glorifying yourself is soon at an end. All these things must happen, man. Terrorism, terrorism about to turn up into a new level, a new high scale, because God said that terrorists shall take hold of them as waters. That is not true. Um, chapter 18, verse 4. Read. <laughs> and I heard another voice. Tell me you are. Revelation, chapter 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her. My people, from the top. and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. This is John the Revelator, this is Juan el Revelador. He heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. Él escuchó otra voz del cielo diciendo, sal de ella, mi gente. Who's the Lord's people? According to the scriptures, is black people, Hispanic and Native American Indians. They are, they are the, the real biblical Hebrew Israelites. Where, where are you from? Where's your question? So, just, uh, I just got out of the metro. Right. And uh, so I'm seeing all of this. And so, I just uh, want to ask you, you're asking for information. Uh, Donde tu eres? Uh, Colombia. In Colombia, okay. Uh huh. So, I'm a. Vamos a darle en español, okay? Porque hay mucho más latino que. Hay que hablar español, porque te voy a hablar en español. Te voy a contestar todo en español también. ¿Está bien? Uh, ¿Cuál es su punto? El punto, el punto no es mío, no, no es mi opinión. No, no, no. Estamos o sea, leyendo lo, de la Biblia. ¿Qué es lo que usted quiere decir lo, con la Biblia? Lo que estamos diciendo ahora mismo, en este momento, el okay. tema es terrorismo. Estamos hablando porque tú estás... Okay. Escúchame bien. Tú escucha, escúchame bien, rápido, rápido. Yo les digo otra cosa. Escúchate bien, escúchate bien. ¿sí? Escúchate bien. Okay. Ayer tú has escuchado lo que sucedió en Tennessee, ¿verdad? En la noticia, que todavía está en la noticia, ¿verdad? Eh, Esa cosa. entró a una iglesia y disparó? No, alguien entró, creo que fue un base de militar. Okay. ¿Verdad? Y disparó a cuatro, cuatro gente y hay otra gente que está en el vivo. Okay. ok. La razón que estamos hablando de terrorismo, porque ya está profetizado en la Biblia. Okay. El punto es que. Dios lo está causando. Dios es, es la causa de toda la maldad que existe en la tierra. No porque eres malo, sino porque lo que hacen a sus hijos. Tú esa lista ahí. Ahí están los colombianos, chequéate. Okay. ¿Verdad? Lo, okay. lo, lo escucha, bueno, ¿lo escucha eh, bien. Los colombianos, los descendientes eh, de los colombianos, no. los nativos, ¿verdad? De Colombia. Oh, la oh. Gente, esa gente son parte de la nación de Israel. Y ahora mi mito, si vas a Colombia, Amigo. Que, escucha bien, escucha bien. Estamos hablando de terrorismo. Si ahora mi mito, tú vas a Colombia, va a encontrar a nuestros hermanos colombianos que todavía son, este, que, que están, este, este, que están este, terrorizados Amigo, por manos de la raza Colombia, blanca. Yo Ajá. Soy de Colombia. Okay. Entonces ahora, ¿puedo hablar? Dime, habla, ¿cuál, ¿cuál es su pregunta? Eh, la palabra de Dios, Ajá. como usted la llama, tiene un mensaje. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? ¿Cuál Desde es? el Génesis hasta Revelación. ¿Y cuál es el mensaje? El propósito de Dios en la humanidad no se trata de terrorismo. El propósito de Dios en la humanidad se trata de revelar a su Hijo Jesucristo y traer salvación para los pecadores. Ok. Ahora. Párate un momentito. ¿Tú eres cristiano? Sí. Ok. Ahora, párate un momentito. No, no, no párate, porque tú estás haciendo como dos o no, tres puntos. No, dos o eh, tres puntos. Usted dijo muchas cosas y no me Escucha, permitió hablar. Tú estás, oye, pero todos mis puntos fue solo sobre un tema. Ahora tú estás sacando dos o tres puntos. Lo que pasa punto. es que usted está sacando las cosas fuera de contexto. Negativo. Aquí no sí. se saca nada ver, de, de, de contexto. Señor, aquí estamos hablando de, de la Biblia. Señor, aquí estamos hablando de terrorismo. Ahora, yo te voy a hacer una pregunta a ti. Basado en lo que tú dijiste. Porque tú eres cristiano, ¿verdad? Tú crees en Dios, ¿verdad? Tú crees en Jesús, ¿verdad? Creo ¿Dónde es la escucha? Desde de Génesis, de escucha. Santo. Ok, escúchate bien. Desde Génesis a, a Apocalipsis. Escucha bien. Voy a escuchar. Okay. Usted 
Uy, escucha bien, okay. un momentito. Porque en la misma palabra dice, estén preparado más para escuchar que para hablar. Eso está en la Biblia. Ahora, ahora, ah, sí, pero yo soy el maestro, usted vino donde mí. Ok, ahora escucha bien. Desde Génesis a Apocalipsis, ¿dónde dice Dios que Él es el Dios de todo el mundo? En Isaías. En Isaías, donde, donde específicamente donde Él dice que Él es el Dios de todo el mundo. Búscame donde él dice que él, que Dios mismo Dios, yo soy el Dios de todo el mundo. Búscame de eso, si tú tienes la Biblia y eso es bueno. Ahora vamos a probar. Mira, aquí hay un cristiano que mantiene una Biblia, se cree que lo sabe todo. Vamos ahora a buscar en la misma palabra donde dice, no, búscame. Tú dices, tú dices en Isaías, ¿verdad? Búscame en el libro donde dice que Dios es el Dios de todo el mundo. Estamos esperando. Mientras tanto, mientras tanto nosotros vamos a buscar donde Dios dijo que Él es el Dios de Israel. Vamos a buscar eso. Pero tú buscas, sigue buscando. Sigue buscando. Vamos a probar. Porque hay que, el Señor dijo en la palabra, examínalo todo. En 1 Tesalonicenses capítulo 5 y 21. Examínalo todo. Vamos a examinar si, eh, si en la Biblia dice que Dios es el Dios de todo el mundo o que si Dios es el Dios de Israel. That's vamos a ver right, igual right. ese. Vamos, vamos a examinar. Vamos a examinar el, ese punto para que, para, para que ya hoy en día uh, sabemos que religión es una porquería. Es, es una porquería. No sirve para nada. Es religión. Este libro no es un libro de religión. Lo, lo conseguiste, pues ya conseguimos lo que me están buscando. No, ¿Dónde hay Isaías? Espérate, mire, mire, primero, mire, mi hermano, mire, Isaías, mire, mire, Isaías, mire, mire, Isaías, mire, mire, Isaías, Isaías, no, no. Primero, antes que nada, como yo estoy buscando, búscame tú donde dice Isaías. No vamos a salir de esto. Usted abrió su boca, ¿verdad? Porque quería que nosotros te escuchamos. Ahora te estamos poniendo para que examinen lo que, hay, lo que usted dijo. Isaías qué? Espérate, eh, Isaías qué? ¿Cuál es el precepto? No ¿Dónde le voy a buscar? No ya, no ya yo sé, ya yo sé que estamos en Isaías, porque eso es lo que tú dijiste. Ahora, ¿qué capítulo y versículo donde el Señor dijo que Él es el Dios de todo el mundo? Yo. Nada. Where we at? Where we at? Joshua, chapter 24, verse 2. And Joshua said unto all the people, Thus saith the Lord of Israel. Joshua, Josué. Dice el Señor, el poder de Israel, escucha. Your fathers dwell on the oh, earth. Read from the top. Uh, okay. And Joshua so, said unto all the people, so Thus saith the Lord, to, uh, God of Israel. Thus uh, saith the Lord, God of who? Of Israel. Of who? Of who? Israel. Of who? Israel. Of who? Israel. Uh, How we know Christianity right. is, is BS, is God's, garbage. God's word is Ahora, Now let's read it in Spanish. And Joshua said unto all the people, Dijo a toda la gente, Thus saith the Lord, Dice el Señor, God of Israel, Poder de quien de Israel, God of Israel, Poder de quien, God of Israel, Poder de quien, Israel, Israel, Poder de Israel, No está diciendo que él es el poder de todo el mundo, No dijo que él es el poder, de la raza blanca, ni de, la ra ni de los africanos, ni de los árabes, ni de los chinos, ni de los hindúes. No dijo eso. Sí dijo que eres el poder de Israel. ¿Quién es Israel con cuando en la Biblia? Los latinos son Israel. Los morenos son Israel. Los indios nativos son Israel. ¿Tú sabes por qué podemos decir eso? Con la, fa con, con la forma que lo digamos, porque ya está en la Biblia. Las cosas que no están sucediendo, señor, estás en la Biblia. Señor, Jamás señor. y nunca vamos a escuchar a los cristianos, ya, mi hermano. Señor, Jamás y... Coge. Señor, déjeme utilizar el No, negativo. Yo soy el maestro, te dije. Usted, usted, usted es estudiante okay. que vino a mí a pre hacer, hacer preguntas. No, los estudiantes cosa, okay. son que señor, hacen preguntas y el maestro le dice señor, la respuesta. Señor, si usted no teme a lo que yo voy a decir, por lo tanto, déjeme utilizar el... ¿Cómo, cómo uno teme al Señor? ¿Cómo uno teme a Dios? Yo no, uno como teme a Dios manteniendo su ley y amándolo a él. Y manteniendo su ley. He said, no, he said, señor. I asked him, from, from, I asked him, how do you feel God? He said, keeping his laws, right? Well, let okay. me tell you something. In the law, 
God said, thou shalt not serve no other God. When you in church, you serving a white Jesus. Right. Él dijo, él dijo, yo le hice una pregunta, porque me dijo, usted, si no, usted no teme, ¿verdad? Yo le hice la pregunta. La pregunta fue, ¿cómo usted teme a Dios? Y él dijo, guardar las leyes, ¿verdad? Pues en la ley, hay una ley que dice, no debe servir a otros dioses. Cuando estamos en la iglesia católica, cristiana, estamos sirviendo a otros dioses. ¿Qué es eso, Jesús? Look, 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 who is at peace with Look at this, mira esto. Rápido, tú sabes por qué él está hablando al hombre blanco. Tú sabes, mira, tú sabes por qué él está hablando al hombre blanco. Porque el hombre blanco es su padre, es su Dios. En deber de estar al lado de los latinos, ahora mismo los latinos están en un, en un estado de destrucción. Estamos en el, con el piso, pero más, él quiere servir a otro Dios. Él quiere alabar al hombre blanco. Hey, hey, mira, mira, mi hermano, mira. No sé, no, no, no coge. Mira, papá, escucha bien. Ven acá. Les voy a dar un mochón. Hey, don't run. Don't be a coward, man. Just come on back. Why you go to the kids? They didn't have you to step to. Hey, listen. When you came out the train, you came out right here. You didn't step to them. Hey, cuando saliste del tren, usted no fue donde ellos. Usted vino acá. Y ahora que estamos sacando la verdad, usted está corriendo como un cobarde. Porque eso es lo que los cobardes hacen. Tú sabes que los cobardes, cuando tú le sacas la verdad, corren. ¿Para qué tú necesitas el micrófono? Yo te hice una pregunta. ¿Por qué no me, ¿por qué no me gusta donde tú dijiste en Isaías que dice que Dios es el poder de Dios? No, because I can trust you. You're not a well, trustworthy talk, person. Talk, then. You are, what you're doing is taking the Bible uh -huh. to take on a meaning that is not it. Nowhere in the Bible proof. does it say that. Like, like I said, the Bible, the Bible says Bible examine all things, that. right? And the, funny the Bible says that examine that all things, so, so prove okay. that what we're saying is wrong. Uh, you, you know the Bible does say Christ see, is black, right? Is Hold on. Not, Do you know the Bible says Christ is black, right? You know it says Christ is black, right? Did you know that Christ is black? The Bible says it. I don't know it. if it's black. Well, you got a Bible in your hand. Oh, hold on, how you going to come up against us and not know the Bible like that? Uh, how dare right, you step up right here right in front of us okay, and say, right, talk right. this about Jesus, who Christ is and that? Mira, en la Biblia dice que Jesús Cristo es moreno. Listen, en la Biblia dice que Jesús Cristo es moreno, con pelo canoso y crespo. Como uno que tiene la Biblia, ni sabe, mira, 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 para que vea, chequeate. Él tiene la Biblia en la mano, ¿verdad? Él tiene la Biblia en la mano, pero no puede probar nada. Ahora nosotros vamos a probar que Jesucristo es moreno. Hay un amigo, hay un amigo, good old Christian, with a Bible in your hand, yet don't know Christ was a black man. How you gonna do that? How you gonna say, I love Jesus, but yet you can't see and understand that Christ, being a black man, loved only black, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. Now, but we're going to prove it right now. You know what I'm saying? He probably white. And he think he white. Este es todo lo que sucede. Este latino se cree que es un blanco. And guess what? We all black. You latino. Si tú eres latino, indio nativo y moreno, nos concuerda la Biblia, nosotros somos negros. You see? That's what cowards do. Mira los cobardes. Los cobardes rápido van a las mujeres. No pueden, no pueden dialogar con hombres. Cowards always run quickly to women. Look at them. A real man will come up to a man. That's, and that's right. what a real man would do. A real, listen, even a white man agreed to that. A real man would step up to a man and tell him what's mine. But a Christian being soft like butter, like, like a jelly donut, runs to women and try to beguile them. And, and listen, when you ready, mira, cuando, cuando tú estás a, a, a preparado para probar que Jesucristo es blanco, entonces ven acá. Mientras tanto, vamos a enseñarlo. Mira, para que sepa, el hombre blanco es el diablo, ¿ok? Para que sepa, papá. Concuerda la Biblia, el hombre blanco es el diablo. The white man is the devil, according to the Bible. ¿Ok? El hombre blanco es el diablo. The white man is the devil according to the Bible. That, yes, and, this, and, the, and listen, the white, listen, there's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it. Prove to me God is white. 
Prove to me Christ is wife. Why not? You got the Bible. The Bible even tells you to prove all things. You are lying. You, you see, lying. you said I'm lying. Well, then prove it. You said I'm lying. Prove it. The Bible says prove all things. Why aren't you proving what I... Prove that I... Prove you got a loud mouth. You don't need a microphone. Prove that I'm lying. Can you prove... Prove to me. Prove to me that I'm lying. Prove to me. Prove to us that we're lying. Prove to us. You got a Bible. In the Bible says prove all things. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 21. Prove all things. You said I'm lying. So let's find out if I'm lying. Open up your Bible. Listen. Open up your Bible. This is your, your five minutes of fame right now. Open up your Bible. Open up your Bible. Don't say no, 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 no. That's in Revelation 18 and 1. Let's prove all things. I said 18 and 1. What, uh, 1 and 1 that is. The revelation. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. I know you think, you think the white man is your God. You think he's daddy. That's why you run to him first. You go to the brother second, then you go to a woman. Listen, here's something. Prove all things, right? Revelations 1 and 1. We don't run our mouth. We open up the book. The power. Listen, the, the Bible says, the wicked flee is when no man pursue it. Listen. Hey, don't run away from him, man. What kind of man are you? Huh? What kind of hombre are you? Don't run away from him. You're talking about Jesus Christ all day long. He about to show you who Jesus Christ is. And you run! You run like a coward! That's you right. run like a coward! That's like the coward dog you worship! Christianity turns you into a coward. A Christian is scared to stand up here and prove to me that Jesus Christ is that white boy. Jesus Christ is negro! No blanco! I don't care if you like it or not. Because the truth is, you're just a Spanish-speaking nigger, like me. I'm an English-speaking nigger, and we're all black people. Whether you're from Colombia, Uruguay, Venezuela, Puerto Rico, don't matter. Brazil, you all black people, man. We're the 12 tribes of Israel. The white man don't make no separation with us. He murdered a Colombian just like he murdered a black American. He murdered a Brazilian just like he murdered a, a brother from the Caribbean islands. He murdered native Indians just like he murdered somebody from El Salvador. The white men know that we are black. The problem is with you blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, you look at each other and you don't see your brother. And you let that damn foolish coward, look at him going there, running Bank of America and now running up the damn street. Come back here and prove to me that Jesus Christ is white. Until then, you're a goddamn liar. The Christian church is the house of Satan. As, bla as blanco hombre, as a diablo in the tarea. That's right. Revelation 18 and 1. Like we said, whoop, one and one that is. We prove all things. Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The word revelation means that to reveal something. We're going to reveal what Christ looked like. Drop down to verse 13 to 12, I mean. 13. 1 and 13. And in the midst. Thank you, brother. Man, pick up a flower right at the table, man. Read verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. This is, this is John the Revelator. Them seven candlesticks is talking about them seven schools that Paul um, um, started. Those are the seven candlesticks it was talked about. Read. One like unto the Son of Man. Hold up. One like unto the son of man. It don't say like unto the son of an angel, but like unto the son of man. Just like every last one of us are sons of man. A ti está diciendo que en el medio de los siete candelarios, esos siete candelarios se está refiriendo a las siete, siete escuelas que Pablo estableció. Uno como hijo de hombre. No está diciendo uno como hijo de un ángel o de un Dios, sino uno como hijo de hombre. Como todos nosotros somos hijos de hombre. Read. One, like unto the Son of Man, clothed with garment down to the foot. Dice que tiene un vestimiento hasta los pies. One, like clothed down to the foot, meaning he wore a garment that reached down to his foot. Dice que tiene un vestimiento que le llegaba a los pies. Estamos, esto es la revelación de Jesucristo. Read. And girt about the paps with a golden girdle. See, because it's saying he had a golden war, bur, a war belt. Está diciendo que tenía un cinturón, pero el cinturón de, está hecho de oro. 
free. His head and his hair, hold up. His head and his hairs. What, what's it like, you get that says about you right there? Right there anyway, look, right there in the bottom. We got a picture, we got a picture right there of the, of, of what the, the Christian's God right here. We'll show you real quick. We said that it's his head and his hair. Throw out again. His head and his hairs are what? Were white as snow. Were white as snow. Dice que el pelo y su cabello era blanco como nieve. Let's look at this picture right here. Vamos a examinar. The Bible says, improve all things, right? La Biblia dice examinarlo todo, ¿verdad? Pues vamos a examinar si esta imagen es concuerdo a lo que dice la palabra. Mira. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Dice que su pelo y su cabello era blanco como lana. Said his head and his hairs were white like wool. Let's, let, let's compare. Here we have a picture of who we thought that was Jesus Christ. That moms got on the wall, grandma got on the wall, a lot of Puerto Ricans and Hispanic make um, um, icons to put on their cars, tattoos. Everybody put, make an image of this creature right here who we think is Christ. And according to the scripture, Christ had white woolly hair. But this picture show a man with dog stringy blonde piss, uh, the, uh, and blonde the color of piss. It ain't white and it ain't like snow, but it's the color of piss and his stringy hair. His head and his head, and then furthermore, the hair is on his face were also white like wool. Here you got this man, his beard ain't white like wool. Read. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And do you know why it says like wool? It's letting you know the texture of the hair. White people's hair aren't li is like wool. The only people hair that's woolly is black people hair. Black people are known, to, uh, known uh, people known to have woolly hair. And guess what? Christ had woolly hair. Christ had an afro, white as snow. Not, not stringy dog hair like the white man. Not piss blonde like the white man's hair. His beard was white as snow. This image right here don't have a white hair on the head nor on the face. He had piss blonde hair. That's the color of his, of his hair right here. Apparently, so far, that's what, uh, a strike on this image right here. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. See that? Dice que su pie era como bronce bruñido, like unto fine brass. Bronce es un color derivado. What color is brass? Mira, de qué color es, es, es bronce? ¿Qué color es bronce? ¿Cómo? cómo? Brown, right? That's right, that is correct. That is correct, you see? She said brown, brass is brown. Now, let me ask you something. Dame hacer una pregunta. Esta imagen, this image right here, su, su pie, su, su color del pie, de piel, es color bronce o brown? Hey, hey brother, mira hermano, el color de, el color de este hombre, de, el color de su tez, el color brown. Hey, you, hey, papi, in the red hat, mira. Is his skin color brown? <laughs> you see how Christians are. You see how Christians are. What? The brother from Colombia came over and, and told lies and then ran. And I'm showing him in the Bible. He's saying that we lied. That what we said was a total lie. And I'm showing to you, and I'm showing it in the Bible. And, no, and you don't even want to hear it. Now one more time, hey brother in the red hat. Is this, is this image of a man with brown skin and woolly hair? You ain't answer, hey sister. Is this man here, does he have woolly white hair and brown skin or not? Does he have brown skin or does, no he don't. Does, and so that proves that this is not Jesus Christ. That proves that this image right here is a false image. According to the Bible, it's saying Christ's hair was white as snow. And what else did it say about Christ? As if they burnt in a furnace. 
His, his eyes were as a flame of fire. Talking about his eyes as a flame of fire. When you look at the image right here, his eyes aren't, aren't like a flame of fire. The reason why Christ's eyes was a flame of fire because he used to drink wine. And just like any black man drinking wine and Hispanic, their eyes get red. But this image right here don't show a man with red eyes. Don't show it as a flame of fire. Nor does it show it a man with brown skin or woolly hair. Read it from the get for the top. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with... Read it again from the top. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and the girdle about the paps with a golden girdle, his head and his head... One more time, read it from the top. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and... Stanley said a man that, um, in the midst of the seven candlesticks, talking about the seven churches, seven schools that Paul established, son of man was clothed down to the foot. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. And his head and his hairs, meaning the hair on his head and his beard, the facial hair, were white like wool. Why saying like wool? Because his hair was woolly just like black people. That's proving that Christ was a black man. That's showing us right there. And if we go more into it, we'll, we'll, we'll keep reading. As white as snow. As white as snow, go ahead. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. As, his eyes as a flame of fire, read. And his feet like unto fine brass. And his feet like unto fine brass. Talking about the way his, his skin color is. Fine, like fine brass meaning that he was a brown skinned brother. Dark blacks, in other words, so you can understand. But that's the problem with Christianity. And I gotta acknowledge this young sister, because at least she had more courage to acknowledge that that image that we show was not Jesus Christ. Right. That at least she had more that's courage, right. unlike the Christian that's church right. that teach a damn lie. That's now right. that's the problem with Latinos. I'm gonna tell you straight up and down. A lot of Latinos think that we're white. Think because some of us are a little light-skinned than others. Let me hit you up to the real reality. Though you be light-skinned, guess what? You really a black man. You just speak Spanish. That's all it is. What you think? That the black man, there's only one kind of black man. Listen, the nation, the whole, the, the whole nation of Israel is a black people. From the black, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, they one race of people. We black people. But that's the problem, and that's the same problem that exists in Haiti and in the Dominican Republic. A lot of Latinos think that they white, and they don't kill the brothers over there in Haiti. And, the, and the, listen, the events, the events uh, 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 is crazy because we believe in a damn lie, thinking that, that Jesus Christ is white. Thinking that Jesus Christ is a white man with blonde hair and blue eyes. When when you go into the Bible, you find out that Christ was never a white boy, never had blonde hair, never was white skinned, but had woolly hair, white woolly hair. But the problem is, once again, a lot of Latinos don't recognize who they are. They side too much with the white people. Meanwhile, white people, white people are killing Latinos just as much as they're killing black people. That ain't no coincidence. You know why, why white people kill a lot of Latinos just like they kill black people? Because in the eyes of them, they know that the Latinos are nothing but Spanish-speaking niggas. That's the truth. Spanish-speaking black people. Because guess what? If you do the real research, you'll find out that when Columbus came over here, when Columbus came over here, there were black people over here already. I don't know if y'all know this. I don't know if y'all realize this. The Native American Indians were not red skinned. They were brown skinned. The Native Indians from, from the Caribbean were brown skinned. The Native Indians from Mexico, brown skinned. The Native Indians from Central America, brown skinned. The Native Indians from South America, Brown skin. Black people that were born here, that was born here in slavery, brown skin. Why is it that the black and Latinos and Native American Indians are living similar conditions here in America? And the only people that have no representation in America. Do you know why? You know why? Because we love Christianity too much. We stuck in the religion that they ha that keeps us in a in a slave state. And that's why a lot of Latinos, listen, I know a lot of Central Americans in their mind, just like a lot of Dominicans, believe that they are white people. 
But meanwhile, they can't see the problems that is going on within the Latino community. They can't see it. There's just too much love in the white man. Meanwhile, the white man is the biggest terrorist among us. That's right. White man is killing us left and right. That's right. Let me tell you something. You better turn on the news and recognize every time they kill a black man, not too long thereafter, they kill a Hispanic man. Right. Not too long thereafter, they kill a Native American Indian. That ain't just because they know, they know that the black, Hispanic, and Native American Indians are one and the same people. And, we, and they ain't killing Africans like that. They ain't killing Chinese people like that. All East Indians. They ain't killing, listen, and that's heavy water, Captain, for bringing that East Indian part. The East Indians are the largest immigrant, uh, illegal immigrant in America. They're the largest, yeah. The East Indian is the largest illegal immigrant in America. But, and right after him is the Chinese. But guess who they hunt down? They hunt down Mexicans and Central Americans. Proof. Look what Donald Trump said about Mexicans. He labeled all the Mexicans rapists and murderers and thieves. When I like to examine history, the only real people that act this, the, the real murderer, rapist, and thief is the white man. Throughout his history and still to today, he's still raping, still murdering, still stealing everything from the face of the earth. He stole it from the Native American. The real murderers, yeah, come on, Captain. The real, los verdaderos asesinos lucan así. The real murderers look like this. You see this image here? Blonde hair, white skin, dog stringy hair. The real murderers, the real rapists, the real thieves look like this. Verdaderos asesinos lucen así, se parecen así. And, and right now we're racially profile. They racially profile all the time. But we're racially profiling this criminal right here. These criminals right here. This is the real criminal on the face of the earth, man. This is the, this is the problem in America. The Mexicans aren't the rapists. Donald Trump and his family and his lineage and his race, those are the real rapists, murderers and thieves on the face of the earth. Ask the Native American Indians who raped their land, who stole their land. Go to the Caribbean, ask them the same thing. They're going to tell you, well, the people that did it look like that man right there, like this man right here. The people who stole America look like this man right here. That's right. Right here. These people right here have a lot of nerve to say that the Mexicans are illegal, illegal immigrants. Have a lot of nerve to say that the Central Americans are illegal immigrants. And guess what? Jesus Christ is a black man. And who killed Jesus Christ? Guess what they look like? Just like this, yeah, you better believe it. The very people that they raped America and stole it look just like this. The person that killed Jesus Christ look like this. They look like this devil right here. This dog right here that killed, that killed Native American Indians, that killed Jesus Christ, that raped, pillaged, and plundered. Smile, man.